It's rude, boy, relax, boy. You don't know hey. what he's been doing to me! Yo, shh, Nils, Nils, please, boy. Oh, 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 oh,
So she was speaking about her relationship or interaction that she had with Uweke. She said that he was a friend but also a lover. But not only that, she said that AKA is a devil. She said that AKA is manipulative. She said that she's actually really glad that he's not in her life anymore because AKA destroyed her life. Apparently, allegedly, according to Uniko type of situation. And I was just sitting there thinking to myself, okay, ah, I'm a, AKA destroys people's lives. Not only does he destroy people's lives, but people's lives, as we have heard, potentially, no, not potentially, people, some other people's lives have ended in his presence. And then when you look at his history with these women, Every single one of them that he's been involved with suffers some kind of weird fate. Some dangerous little something, like something bad. And that is Nicole's situation. And yo, that interview was quite long, about an hour and something minutes, right? But majority of that was about AKA and how much of a bad person he really is. Apparently, allegedly, AKA is the one that sent Nicole those nudie nudie pictures of, I think it was Bonanga Teba. I'll say apparently, allegedly, because I'm not too sure which one of his girls she has the pictures of. I honestly watched the video and I felt so sorry for that girl, hey? Like she went on and on and on. Declaring how AKA really ruined her life. Yeah, the crazy thing is, after that interview came out, AKA then came out to do a video wishing her all the best of luck. And she said that he was, ooh, like he's a bad guy. Very romantic, but very fake. Someone that will destroy your life. And then recently, we heard that the Anela case was still being investigated and not ruled as a suicide. Whereas apparently allegedly he was the only person in that room. And the way Nicole was speaking about him, it was like, wow, is this guy really a devil like that? Like how Nicole was saying? Nadia, Yabuta. I'm not accusing anyone of anything, man. That guy, oh, shall be that time. Oh, shall be there. Nah, what's really going on, girl? What is actually really going on with AKA? Honestly, the way that interview went, that Nicole girl was even saying, till today, her career, everything about her life is destroyed because of that guy. And then he was pulling strings behind the scenes. To make sure that her life, her career and life will just fail. And she didn't look as glamorous as she looks in the pictures or what have you. That is, life is short of flames. In my opinion, why? For getting involved with AKA. That's kind of really freaky dicky, hey guys. It really puts AKA under this... This cloud of dark darkness. Like, but about how one of your batches passed away when you were there, and then it comes out, it's not, it wasn't even a suicide like you said. So, if it wasn't a suicide and it was only the two of you in the room, what happened? And now this girl is coming out to say how manipulative and a devil, aka, really, really is. And how grateful she feels that he's out of her life. Like, she was saying that he destroyed her everything, her life. Yeah. At least she's still alive. You know what I mean? And she was saying, people had warned her in the industry, uh -uh. that's where the danger is. So maybe Nicole actually survived. Oh, the fate that other people had to face type of situation just makes you kind of look at it here like Ish, I know how right now something is wrong with you I mean I'm not saying definitively 
that something is really, really wrong with him, but it's like, ah, my God. Another Musa Kaula type of situation, maybe, apparently, allegedly, who knows? Do you know where the danger is? Yeah. Anyway, you guys, let me know what you guys actually think in the comment section down below. Is Do you guys think that AKA is the devil that he's being portrayed to be? Or do you think that Nicole is just really like a gold digger thought hole? that wants to vent on a guy that did her wrong type of situation but from my observation watching that video it just seemed like she was being really sincere like she's been through the most and because that guy was linked to her in some way type of situation Maranas, right you guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below anyway you guys if you guys haven't already please do like share and subscribe to this channel and also please do click on the thank you button if you guys do enjoy my videos and don't be shy go back and watch my other videos right i have some really cool videos on this channel that you guys will pretty much enjoy and i will see you guys in the next one. Oh, by the way you guys i'm planning to revitalize my other channels um like i said yes tomorrow i have two events that i'm going to so i want to vlog and then put it on my personal channel um i hope you guys are going to enjoy that uh, <laughs> type of situation but i'll see you there and don't forget to also like and subscribe to all my other channels and also one more thing i'm back in the studio you guys you know after years and years and years i'm back in the studio creating new music which is going to be dropping really really soon so please do look out for that a lot of you guys have been saying to me lynn don't sleep on your talent don't sleep on it don't sleep on this bring out that music you know um no i'm not recording it on my phone or whatever i'm in real studio <laughs> doing the things so look out for that but i will keep you guys posted on that pr the progress of that project many more to come all right i'll see you guys in the next one bye and the triple threat stop in the bed don't fall in the bed address me you call me back when i walk in you take a step to call you because i am who you think i am i am who i wanna be i am the baddest bitch in the game i am in the time